to welcome everybody uh, here today. My name is Alan Graham, and uh, and back in uh, 2010, I went on a uh, a, uh, a trip to Philmont in July. Uh, Sam Francis and I, the Scoutmaster of uh, Troop 990, but I was carrying a pack weight of about 45 pounds. On the second to the last day that we were at Philmont, uh, we did an ascent up Black Mountain. Even though it's not the highest peak on Philmont, it probably has the steepest uh, ascent uh, to the top. And so we kind of, and it's uh, per, at pretty high elevation, so there's not a lot of options up there. And we've been on the trail for, uh, uh, you know, nine or ten days. And we, we get up to the top, and then we start our descent. And the descent was uh, very steep uh, and very rocky, and every step that I took, uh, was a step where I thought I was going to fall down. Uh, rocks were slipping out from under me. I had all this weight on me. I wasn't paying attention to hydrating. And I became dehydrated and began uh, uh, to experience the problems uh, that you have with, uh, with dehydrating. Ended up getting pretty, uh, uh, pretty sick. Had to kind of lay low uh, that night. Uh, got up the next morning, uh, felt pretty good, and we made our trek uh, back to base camp up the tooth of time. But I got back to uh, base camp and I thought, you know, there's got to be a better way uh, to do this. Looking at all the gear that I carry, most of it I never even used or pulled out. And so uh, Sam Francis and I, the scoutmaster of uh, Troop 990, began to explore uh, this lightweight uh, world. And, uh, and I began to re-gear uh, what I was taking. And when we would go on our uh, weekend backpacking trips, uh, I would watch all my friends carrying their uh, 35, 45 pound packs and I was now down to a 15, 20 pound uh, level. And I was uh, rocketing up the hills. I was feeling great when I got, uh, got to the top. Uh, my son and I did a uh, 50 miler on the Appalachian Trail uh, a year ago spring break, uh, lightweight, wearing tennis shoes. It was, uh, it was awesome. In May of last year, I took a uh, uh, ultralight BSA training course up in Montana in the Bob Marshall Wilderness, and uh, uh, that again continued to solidify uh, this idea of uh, lightweight uh, backpacking. Uh, I got to know the guys like uh, Grant, Mike, and Pat from uh, Gossamer Gear, uh, which is an awesome Austin base, uh, uh, long time leading edge uh, gear manufacturer of uh, uh, lightweight equipment. And I'm having a ball, and I can't wait. Uh, to go to uh, uh, Philmont this summer with three crews uh, carrying essentially uh, this pack uh, right here. Later on today, you'll hear from my son who basically took uh, this pack weight, was under eight pounds, this is a little under 10 right now, uh, and spent uh, 200 miles on the uh, trails at Philmont, 300 miles actually, on the trails at Philmont at a program called uh, Rayado, where in this, uh, and a pair of tennis shoes that, uh, that we brought for you to, uh, to look at. So what I've learned is that there's, um, uh, there's all this gear out there. Uh, you can go out and spend a whole lot of money on this deal if you want, uh, uh, but you can also do this uh, very economically and, and very lightweight. You'll find that these kind of packs right here are phenomenally less expensive than the big old giant uh, packs, five pounders that you're buying in an REI type of, uh, uh, type of facility. What I've learned is about 90% of this philosophy is mental. Uh, the other 10% is really all about the gear. Uh, it's you making the decision that, you know, I can leave this at home or actually don't have to wear this type of shoe. I can wear this type of shoe. Uh, but the bottom line is these are all choices that you, you get to make. 